All right, so one of the things that we need to do before we go out and get ready to go image for everything is we need to collimate our scope. So this is my uh, Celestron 130 SLT, and it's a Newtonian reflector. So we're going to use our laser collimator there we go, and collimate this baby real quick. All right, so the first thing we need to do is put the collimator on the scope. So we have a few objects here. We have our uh, two inch adapter to 1.25 uh, inch, a little 1.25 inch holder. Your collimators are basically all 1.25 inch. So you just slide this in here, just like, let me unscrew these real quick, just like that. Tighten these little set screws in. Slide this in here, tighten these set screws in. You wanna make sure it's nice and tight because you don't want this to be moving. You don't want there to be wiggle. You wanna know exactly where the laser's pointed. And then we're gonna turn it on and check the alignment. So the first thing we need to check is that the um, secondary mirror is in its proper position. So we do that by checking where the laser lines up and you want it to be aligned with the little circle in the center. You can see on mine. Uh, it's not always a circle, sometimes it's a dot, but it'll have a slightly different texture and you just want it to be within that circle. If it's not within the circle, there are these little um, adjustment screws here. Yeah, there you go, you can see it now. Um, they're normally just changed via Allen wrench and this is just holding the secondary mirror right here. So it can be rotated and angled slightly differently just to make sure that you're getting that alignment at the center of the primary mirror in the back. All right, now that our secondary mirror is in position, we can get our primary mirror set up. So this is gonna be adjusted by your locking and adjustment screws on the back. Uh, you don't normally need a screwdriver for these, but I have my uh, telescope modded, so I require one for collimation. So shut the light off. We want to check the position of the red dot reflecting off of the mirrors and back onto the collimator. So it's a little bit off center. We want it directly at the center at the spot from where the laser is being emitted. So it's a bit off center. So we need to come back to our adjustment and locking screws. Let's see, I know it's this one since I messed it up just so for the video but I turned this screw a little bit, so we moved it back over the center, and then once it's where we want it, we tighten our locking screw, which will hold it into position. So it's really important to get a good collimation uh, in order to make sure your image is as sharp as possible, and you wanna check the collimation Anytime you might have introduced some kind of vibration, so during transport. So we're going to make sure that we check the collimation whenever we actually get to the site. But that is a quick run through on how you collimate a telescope.